Hello children. Today we look at a very important aspect of our faith, the Holy Eucharist, its meaning and importance. Before we start, let us pray. Let us bow down our heads in prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you for giving us this beautiful day. We submit ourselves into your hands as we learn another lesson today. Grant us your wisdom and grace and enable us to learn more from your word. Amen. So, what is the memory verse for today? St. Luke chapter 22 verse 90 And he took bread, gave thanks and broke it and gave it to them saying, This is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. The Holy Eucharist is the most important sacrament of the Orthodox Church. The Son of God came into this world to save us. The Holy Eucharist is the completion of his ministry in this world. So it is very, very important to us. Now, Urbana, which is what we say in Malayalam, originates from the Syriac word Kurobo, meaning sacrifice or offering. Kurban in Hebrew means gift. So, basically, Kurbana means gift on submission of sacrifice. What do we call it in English? We call it the Holy Liturgy, which means worship. Holy Eucharist, which comes from a Greek word, Eucharista, which also means thanksgiving. We also call it the Holy Communion or the Holy Mass. Holy Mass is usually, um, you know, said by uh, the Roman, it's a term used by the Roman Catholics, basically from a Latin word, Misa Este. Children, do you remember the Passover feast when the Israelites gathered together to have the unleavened bread and painted their doorposts with the lamb's blood so that the angel of death would pass over them and only kill the firstborn of the Egyptians? Well, Jesus and his disciples got together to celebrate the Passover festival in the traditional Jewish way. While they were eating, he took the bread, blessed it, broke it and said, Take Eat, this is my body. Do this in remembrance of me. Similarly, he took the wine cup and said, This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for many. He commanded his disciples to do this in his remembrance, and the disciples obeyed his command. So, children, when we partake in the Holy Communion, we remember. Jesus' sacrifice on the cross and how he saved us from perishing forever. So children, did you know that the Holy Communion or the Holy Eucharist or the Holy Kurbana that we know now is the Queen of Sacraments? When you participate in the Holy Kurbana, you have taken communion in the body and the blood of Christ. The group of people with whom you participate in this holy sacrament were originally called a community. However, there were some who were not allowed to participate in the Kurbana for some serious reasons. They were known as excommunicated people. What's very important for you to remember is that when you participate in the holy Kurbana, it should be with complete preparation, which includes prayer, fasting, and complete devotion. So that's all for today, children. Happy learning and take care of yourselves. Bye. Subscribe now and press the bell icon. Never miss an update.